Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim bringing you a prophetic news report this 27th day of November 2022. I am, um, the things that I'm about to share that are happening right now are of such a nature. They, we're, we're watching prophecies jump off the pages of the Bible. Now, if you don't know what I mean by being born again, I have done a video Faith plus nothing equals salvation and eternal security. I pray that you have believed that Jesus, Yeshua, is the Mashiach, the Messiah, always having existed, that he left glory, laid down his glory, was born of a virgin, wrapped in flesh, lived a perfect life, never sinned, shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary to pay our sin debt once and for all, past, present, and future sins. He died, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. The nanosecond. You believe he's the Messiah and he rose from the dead. You are born again and dwelt with Holy Spirit, saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption. Heaven bound and rapture ready. Praise God. Praise God. John 3.16 states it so well. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm a whosoever. Are you a whosoever? Well, let's get into it, um, because there is some interesting things going on. Now, for at least a couple years now, I have been sharing that I have seen, the Lord has shown me, that there is a parallel situation going on in Yisrael, and the United States of America. We know that Benjamin Netanyahu has won the election. He is the incoming prime minister. This is really interesting. The interim prime minister, Yair Lapid, who, thank God, he did not win. Thank God, he's very liberal. He is for dividing the land of Israel. And I, I because I'm going to put this on many platforms... For those on the Patreon, on my Patreon, you know that we can go into greater detail. Um, in fact, I'm going to upload this to Patreon first because I can't risk it going off of other uh, platforms and then the message not getting out there. But in any event, I will be, uh, I'll comply right now so that we can get the message out there. So we're going to be compliant so there should be no issue. Uh, so that's all I can say about that. But now, remember, they have been trying. They, they have been after Benjamin Netanyahu as viciously as the left in the United States of America have been after President Donald Trump. And this is not political. This is not about a party. In fact, I go back to what Dr. Billy Brim, the prophetic utterance she had in 2008, one thing will save America. And it is not an election. It is an awakening to God. One thing will avail for Yisrael. And it is an awakening to God. So I, I've been sharing that because it's so powerful. It's so true. And um, we know that things are not falling out of place. They are falling into place. We are at the end of this dispensation. Jesus Christ is coming for his bride. Until he does, we occupy and redeem the time. Now what the Lord has shown me is that God is about to show out. In fact, I think God is showing out. For those who say that there's not going to be many that come to salvation now until after the rapture, you would be wrong because many are coming to faith. The, the area that the church is growing the fastest, meaning people are being born again, is in Iran. And it was really begun by a group of women who, under risk of all kind of bad things, have propagated the spreading of the gospel, and now the church there is growing very rapidly. China, the underground church, is growing very rapidly. Around the world, we're getting reports of folks coming to faith in Jesus Christ. And I'm seeing it. Where, when I go places. So it is happening. I believe what the Bible says, that we are going to go, the ecclesia, the assembly, 
born again believers, from glory to glory to glory to our ultimate glorification. That's biblical. And so I'm not boxing this, what the Lord is telling me, into revivals and awakenings that we have seen in the past. I'm not doing that. An awakening to God can happen in an hour. But God is showing out. And I preached it again this morning. If you have not seen it, I encourage you to. God has the power to show you who's God. Praise God. And so things are about to happen. I shared earlier in the week, the Lord woke me up. Holy Spirit, I woke up with a jolt. Woke me. I'm going to get these things tightened. Woke me at 2 a.m. And I began praying in the Spirit as Holy Spirit, as the Lord gave me a word. And I shared that. I've already shared that. So you can go back and look at that. It's it's um, on all my outlets. And if not, you can go to my personal Facebook. Find me, Tim Henderson. You should be able to find me. Although I know they impact the algorithms, but you should be able to. It's also on the YouTube community page. I shared it on Patreon. I shared it on Truth and Social. I shared it on my Twitter, Dr. Tim Henderson. You can find me on those outlets. So we're using... As many outlets as I have time uh, to do, you can also find me on timhenderson.tv. And so we give God all the glory, but you can. Now, I've been talking about this parallel thing. Yair Lapid, Zippy Levini, Yair Lapid is the interim prime minister. He's the outgoing. Zippy Levini are both to testify against Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, Lavini is a former chief of staff to, to Prime Minister Netanyahu. Also, Ari Harrow could be testifying. The incoming Prime Minister's public, on his public, Netanyahu, what they call corruption trail in the next month or two. They are out to get him. The same way I guarantee you, they're already working behind the scenes. Now that Donald Trump has announced his candidacy for the 47th president of the United States. He's 45. Um, we have an illegitimate administration in. People get mad when I say that, but it's true. Whether you like him or don't like him, I know that there is a parallel going on. But I'm here to tell you, God is about to show out. So be, we'll be keeping you informed. I am not surprised. Because Prime Minister Netanyahu won this election and he was able to get, I think it was like 63 at least, of the 61 seats needed in the Knesset, in the parliament, he was able to do that. He was given the go-ahead to set up his government and he has been doing that. They are enraged and they're coming against him. And don't think that this is not a spiritual battle, because it is. Uh, it still looks like in the United States there's going to be a national rail strike beginning December 5th. Listen, we have been hearing, we've been seeing inflation, we've been talking about hyperinflation, we've been talking about um, supply shortages. This will only add to that. But the Bible says, do not fear 365 times. That's once for every day. Do not fear. I know this and have full confidence that God is the same yesterday, today, and the, tomorrow. And the same God that multiplied the loaves and fishes. The same spirit working in Yeshua. He is God. But that same spirit, the anointing that we saw, the Holy Spirit, that he multiplied the loaves and fishes. The Bible says the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead abides in you, born-again believers. And I believe, if need be, we are going to see multiplication. Some would say, oh, that's crazy, that's insane. Well, I believe it. Do you believe it? Thank God for, listen, we believe in the eternally self-existent God, in the persons of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God, praise God. Thousands are protesting draconian lockdowns. That's all I can say about that. And you know why? In China, unrest grips the country. Pray for our brothers and sisters there, please, and the people in China. Uh, scores are dead after being locked in a burning building. Listen, these are draconian tactics. 
and this is a globalist move and they want to bring it in America and in other nations, in Australia, in France, around the world. We are seeing things fall into place in these final moments of the end of days. Uh, we have entered a time where, I'm just going to say it this way. I know of people, young people, that one day they'll go to school and they identify as non-binary. The next day they'll go to school and they identify as a male. The next day they'll go to school and they identify as a female. Folks, we are living in crazy land. I, I mean, this is, and people justify it. There are students in schools that identify as cats and they have litter stations for them. Really? This is what we become as a society? This, listen, this is demonic. This is wrong. Well, now, and, and I know this because there are people that I have known for years who will no longer speak to me. They have shunned me. They have called me everything from every phobia, basically labeling me. I've got to be careful what I say, but the kind of person that is dangerous and that they fear. Well, today, a dear sister in Christ shared with me whose husband is a pastor. He literally had to leave a denomination. I already knew that because of their support, the denomination support of embracing wickedness and supporting the murder of the innocent. You guys are going to get what I'm saying. I know you are. And now they have family members who will have nothing to do with them, close family members, because he stands on the truth of God's word. And this man is one of the most loving men I have ever met in my life. And I'm praying for them. I'm believing God that there's going to be a breakthrough in his family and in many of your families. And I know many of you are struggling, <coughs> excuse me, with the very same thing. I'm telling you, God's about to show out. And those of your family members who are bound up in that stuff, they're coming out of the prisons. They're coming out of the closets of that demonic bondage, and they're going to be great evangelists and witness for Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. So do not fear. And remember God's promises are yes and amen. They are sure and true. You can take that to the bank. Listen to my message from this morning, and you'll, you'll understand more of what I'm saying. It's sad, the time, what we're seeing, but God is absolutely good, and he is showing out. Russia's Sarmat strategic missile has gone into serial production. Now, you need to hear about this missile. This is what you need to know about this powerful super West weapon of the Russian Federation. First. This is the most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile in the world. It surpasses America's uh, American ones in all respects. Second, the Sarmat has avant-garde hypersonic capsules. Now listen to this. That are totally immune to all known missile defense. To all known missile defenses. Did you hear that? These missiles are immune to all known missile defenses, while the U.S. Minuteman III has no hypersonic castles, capsules. Third, the Sarmat can also deliver a high-precision non-nuclear strike in which the kinetic energy created destruction, it creates destruction similar to a nuclear explosion, explosion, but without radiation. Fourth, the Sarmat will be silo and mobile based, while the U.S. Minuteman III is silo based only. And fifth, the Sarmat is the latest rocket to enter service in 2022, while the U.S. Minuteman III entered service 50 years ago. Now, I don't know about you, but with the illegitimate administration we have in play, and with everything, the lack of confidence, the laughing stock that we have become in the world, 
but God, brothers and sisters. And you know, again, we have nothing to fear. To live is Christ, to die is gain. I have had the dreams and the visions, and I will tell you, I've been saying this for several years. Our dear brother, who's a moderator and, and a member of my church and just a really good brother in Christ, James Murray, he and his wife, Steph, are wonderful, as are all the moderators, Sister Kathy, all of, all of you, all of you. And Brother James shared, and I can't remember it, but others have had the very same visions and seen this. And what I see, and I know this is post, what I'm sharing with you in this stream that I've had is post the rapture of the church. I see fires all over America, and I see paratroopers from China and Russia coming onto American soil. I know it's from the Lord. I know what I've seen. Others have seen the same thing. God is sending us a message. I'm telling you, you can believe me or not believe me, that's okay. But one thing you must believe, that Jesus is the Messiah and he rose from the dead. These things that I'm sharing with you are of such a nature that I felt you needed to know. So I wanted to share with everyone on all my media outlets. Um, but first, I'm going to share it on the ones that are most secure on the TimHenderson.tv and also on the Patreon. And then it will be shared on the other outlets just in case. Uh, and that's what I've been doing. So there's a lot of effort and time and, and money that, that is going into all this stuff. Thank you to everyone praying and supporting. Uh, we want to keep the messages going. Most of all, the gospel. And praise God for the many that are getting saved. I'm telling you, we're living in the most exciting time in church history. God ordained that you and I would live and breathe and have our being in this time. Brothers and sisters, you know, I believe that when we get to glory, so many people will say to me, who do you want to meet first? When I get there, I, I just want to throw myself in the arms of my Savior and bow down and worship him. I want to see Jesus face to face. I want to worship him. He is worthy, worthy. Praise God. Then yes, I have a list of people. I know that I will see. I want to see. Um, but many people will say that they want to meet with, you know, their heroes of faith from the word of God. I believe folks like the Apostle Paul, like Peter, like Abraham, and Moshi. <clears throat> I believe Joshua, Nehemiah. I love Nehemiah. I believe they're going to come up to us and be just as excited to meet us and say, what was it like to be that generation? Whoa, we are living in the final moments of the end of days. And Jesus, it's guaranteed, it's in the word of God. When people say, no, it's not there, that's a lie. I've done many videos on this. It's there. The word rapture is not in the Bible. But what that word is translated from, harpazo, the catching away, being caught up, is in the Bible. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. And the Lord himself shall descend with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then those of us which are alive and remain shall be caught up. That caught up is harpazo. Shall be caught up together with them in the air. And so shall we be with the Lord forever. And we're told to encourage one another with that truth. Praise God. We've heard people say, and I love it. It's our blessed hope. What's our blessed hope? Jesus Christ. Believe on him. He's the Messiah. He shed his blood for your sins and died, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. And he is coming back for his bride. All born again believers. Praise God. When that word, when, when it was translated into the Latin, it was translated raptoro. And so in the English, we say rapture. And it is clearly in the word of God. It's guaranteed. Just as shortly. If you have believed on Jesus, as I've already outlined, 200 verses were saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith. 
and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. Praise God. Well, I want you to know God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. Remember, greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. And you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Shalom, shalom, and have an awesome rest of your day.